Welcome back to The Fight. I'm Alex Wilcox. When a New Jersey health executive needed help acquiring masks, our next guest immediately rose to the challenge, even though his company primarily manufactures patio furniture. 1989 Notre Dame grad Bill Wenzel's company, North Cape, has now transitioned to produce personal protective equipment for frontlines workers. Bill, welcome to The Fight. Thanks, Alex. Thanks for having me. And I just want to give a quick shout out to the class of 2020. We're all thinking of them and proud of them. Absolutely, Bill. Now, Bill, I, I got to ask you, what inspired you to answer this uh, this call for help protecting frontline workers? Well, it was March 17th, uh, and I had a board of trustees meeting down here in Cape May County, New Jersey, with Cape Regional Medical Center. And we were actually going through financial concerns, uh, as you can imagine, for independent hospital in this situation. And at the end of the call, uh, Joanne Carasino, our CEO, expressed a, a dire need for PPE, masks in particular, but also gowns. And by the time the phone call ended, I realized that we were in a situation where we were looking to keep our workers going and we're normally sewing cushions uh, and things like that. So we decided to quickly switch over uh, and transition to try and make masks. We were able to find some mock-ups of uh, patterns and uh, strategies to do that. And within two hours, we had samples. Uh, within six hours, we had uh, uh, computer designs that we could repeat uh, rapidly and start serving the community. Now, how quickly were you able to start making the uh, personal protective equipment? And how was your company able to adjust the current practices and materials uh, to making this PPE? So once we got the samples uh, set up and running, we were able to use surplus fabric. And by the next day, by the next morning, we were shipping. Uh, we were able to start ramping up to 2,000 masks a day um, and a few hundred gallons a day. And um, by Friday, March 20th, we had sent hundreds of masks and gowns to several facilities, including Cape Regional uh, and a few nursing homes and ramped up from there. Wow, so, so how many masks and gowns has your company been able to make so far? Uh, to date, we're approaching 25,000 masks wow. and maybe five or 6,000 gowns. That's incredible. Now, listen, we, we've seen so many uh, stories, especially when this was first beginning, about the shortage of personal protective equipment, the shortage of masks, the shortage of gowns. So when you hear about those stories and then obviously what you're doing, what kind of impact has this production had? And then, of course, how long do you think uh, North Cape will continue uh, ma making this PPE? Well, one of my favorite side effects was uh, the morale boost we got from our staff. Um, we have a cut and sew facility in Alsip, Illinois. And uh, it's been a challenging year uh, because of various circumstances. And we were afraid we were going to be shut down uh, or face a, you know, a layoff because business obviously was going to come to nearly a stop. Uh, and to be able to transition to this, you could see um, the excitement of the, the team members that they could, A, keep their job and B, serve the community. Um, that was exciting. And then obviously at this point, we've come in contact with a lot of nursing homes, uh, transportation, public transportation companies. Uh, a lot of different people have to be on the field, EMTs and things like that, where they've been had a shortage of masks, and we've been able to serve all of them, uh, and at the same time keep our people working. So it's been exciting. Yeah, absolutely. And do you uh, do you anticipate continuing making uh, PPE? Well, at, when we initially started, we were doing simple kind of home sewn masks, and about halfway through this process, a friend of mine, Steve Dempsey, class of '89, who's a cardiologist, kind of reached out to me through social media and challenged us to make a better mask. And gown. So we developed a uh, uh, Halyard 600 or H600 medical grade mask that's uh, N95 fit and performance, just not certified for N95, that also allows it to be sterilized in a hospital using a hydrogen mist or an autoclave. Uh, there's still great demand for that uh, because medical centers and nursing homes really don't have access to N95 quality and uh, the price exorbitant. But I'm happy to say for the first time in my life that I'm losing market share overall on masks to the big boys, 3M and some other folks. Um, they're coming back online and filling the gaps in the supply chain, which is actually good news for me. Absolutely. Bill, thank you so much for joining us today and, of course, for showing us what it means to be a force for good in the world. Thank you very much.